Jones has discovered that the American ambassador to West Germany, Morris Monroe, is marked for execution by an organization calling itself H-A-R-M, or HARM. It is imperative that Monroe survive the attack. Be warned, though, that the ambassador is extremely nearsighted and almost deaf, so you won't be able to rely on him to realize that he's in danger. You will be positioned in a residential building across the street from the hotel. Your job is to pick off the assassins before they liquidate Monroe. So, are you enjoying yourself yet? Immensely. Sure you're not bored? I've waited nearly four years for this chance. I think I can endure another half hour. Good girl. You're growing up. What do you make of all that talk of a traitor? It wouldn't be the first time we've had leaky plumbing. Still, it's disquieting to say the least. It's happened before? Once. A few years ago, we lost several undercover operatives in Istanbul. It turned out they'd been compromised by their chief's very own administrative assistant. He'd sold us out for a measly 50 quid. 50 quid? Astonishing, isn't it? Trading men's lives for such a pittance. But spies are rarely well compensated for their treason. I wouldn't be surprised if this new mole is equally underpaid. Well, I hope when they catch the bastard, they put a bullet right between his eyes. And maybe a boot up his arse for good measure. You sound ready to volunteer. I'm dangerous when I'm upset. That's why you're always in trouble. All right. Munro's headed for the cafe. Watch for him on the second floor patio, coming from the left. What about the targets? Not sure yet. Pardon me. Uh, do you have the time? No, sir, I do not have a dime, and I don't have much use for beggars. Not a dime. The time. Don't get snippy with me, or I'll have you arrested. Are you deaf? How dare you threaten me? Oh, never mind. Coward! Would you like me to call out the targets for you? That would be lovely. I want to go home. But we've only been here for two days. To your left, on the far balcony. I don't like it here. Why not? On the roof to your right. So boring. Well, it is a foreign country. I know that. But Canada's a foreign country, too. And isn't this foreign? But I thought the reason you wanted to come here was that it is so different. Yeah. Why don't you try to relax and enjoy yourself? I'll bet you have a lot of fun Dad, if you just stop worrying. It. Where's that dime? You think so? Sure. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Straight ahead, of to the right of the tower. Right. Let's walk down to the Medina and see some sights. On the roof to your right. On your left, coming out the door on the far balcony. On your left, coming out the door on the nearest balcony. On your left, coming out the door on the far balcony. Straight ahead, to the right of the tower.
On your right, street level. On your left, street level. Riff Raff! There must be a hole in my pocket! People have jobs! On your left, street level. I'll cover him for the next stretch. Get to apartment 12 and wait for my signal. Oh, and make sure to conceal your weapon. It will cause a commotion. Locked myself out again. How irritating. I heard he plans to marry the American girl. You mean the girl who refuses to wear shoes? Yes, sir. I wonder if all American girls despise shoes. It seems very strange, but America is a strange country. She may be crazy, but she is attractive. Ah, but you're invariably attracted to crazy women. All women are crazy. <laughs> Shh, not so loud. Good. He's almost there. Here he comes. Get ready. On your right, coming around the building. Your silver customer! This guy is too much. On your left, coming around the building. Not again! Where are you, left, you, you pesky little the dime? On your left, I'd coming better around find the it quickly before the thieves swoop in like vultures. Second story window, far right. Story window on your left. Heading toward you. Watch for him to pass in front of the right window. Second story window, far right. Second story window, near right. Excellent shooting. 
You don't have to tell me that. I was standing right here. A little humility might suit you. I'm teasing. We make a pretty good team. Damn! They must have spotted you. There's a group of thugs heading your way. How many? Looks like six of them. Can you handle it? Of course I can. I'll meet you at the hotel in an hour. All right. Take care of yourself. First, I'm going to take care of some evildoers.